Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the EDAP 690 class uh, tonight, <clears throat> we are going to be looking at multimedia wiki creation. This will not take long. Setting up a PB Works is, I hope you find it fun. Uh, I think it's very simple. So, why are we using the PB Works? Why are we using a wiki? One of the things that I like about using wikis, especially as a way of demonstration of stuff that you're learning, is that it is very amenable to putting things in um, using the embed code. And as we get further in, I'll show you that. Also, when we get to the one module that has to do with creating an audio story, um, the beauty of the PB Works is it will recognize the audio file that you will be creating and when you upload it to that page in your wiki it will then convert it actually into a little audio player so that all you have to do is just click on the the, the story the file that you've created and it'll play right through your wiki creating this is is so easy so let me go ahead and walk you through it let's look first what we're doing tonight all we're going to do tonight is we're going to go into pbworks.com right here and we are going to then give it a unique look and you can use any of these three links or any link that you might or any tool that you might be partial to and all we're looking for is I would like you to create a sign or a logo put it on your home page um, if you've got like a picture of your school that classic front entrance picture to your school feel free to use that and that's it for the night uh, we'll use it as our creation space and i'll just walk you through how it all works so here i am going to go to pbworks.com unfortunately i can't get blackboard to take us directly there so we're gonna have to click on that again and once we are here you are going to go and get started you are creating one of these through the education hub. And you don't need to, <laughs> you don't need to freak out at this point. All you're going to do is basically um, create a free. And then you're going to choose your address now. Choosing address for the wiki space, um, you need to think about how you're going to use this. If you're going to use a wiki that you're actually going to um, make a part of your teaching, the address that you create, because once you do this, you own a piece of the internet, the address that you create should speak to what it is that you've created. So it can be something as simple as Swan Wiki, which will probably kick back. If, if you're using something that already has been created, it'll kick you, at, kick you back and tell you. You'll go down here. You'll create, you'll click on where it says, I agree, this workspace is for non-commercial use only. Then this is where I'm going to put my name in, and I'm going to put an email address in. Then I'm going to create a password. Make sure you're writing all this down somewhere. And of course, I'm going to confirm that password. And this might kick me out because I accidentally hit the wrong key, but we'll see. Very good. So I have now created something called swanwiki.pbworks.com. So if you are, if you really like this thing and you want to use it from here on out, it's as simple as go to swanwiki.pbworks.com. Simple as that. So who can view this workspace? This is another question. If you want it to be public, and what does public mean? Public means that I could go into a Google search um, and I could type in Swan Wiki. It will find my wiki. If I if I'm nervous about that, and I, you know, to me it's you have security through obscurity. 
uh, then I would select the next one down below. If you do pick the one down below, you're going to have to invite me. Otherwise, I can't see it. So I'm going to go ahead and say anyone. I'm going to agree to the PB work serves a terms of service, and then I'm going to tell it to take me to my workspace. That's it. That's all there is to it to create a wiki using PB works. Now let's take a tour around the PB work page. As you can see, it's sitting here in a view tab and it has stuff already here. Well, one of the dirty little secrets about the web is the web hates the null space. And if you're a mathematician, you know what that means. The web hates empty. Zero is not empty. The web hates empty space. It doesn't know what to do with it. In fact, when you're creating like file names and you save it, and if you do things like Steve space, wiki space, page, what it'll do is it will change those and either close the space off or it'll put a little character, a hexadecimal character between the word because the web hates empty spaces. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to clear this out because right now where we are is what Wikispaces calls the front page. Now, if we were learning HTML code, if we were learning how to do um, creating of a web page, we would basically, we would be calling this the home page. Front page, home page, they're synonymous, means the same. So I'm going to have to get rid of this. I don't want this to be on my home page. I want it to be what I want it to be. So I'm going to click on the edit tab. And then I'm going to essentially just wipe all this out. So now it's free and clear and it's waiting for me to do something with my wiki on its home page. So I'm just going to type in something banal. This is my, no, I'm not going to do that. How about if we do something like welcome to my EDAP 690. Man, I've got to get a new keyboard. This keyboard is the pits. It's not my typing. It's honest, it's not my typing. Okay. Now, just like in any word processing, I have the ability to change how this all looks. To do that is as simple as, and you know how to do this. Highlight. Come up here to font. Drop down to something like Georgia. Come over here to size and make it nice and big. If you don't like the look of it, come back in here. Change your font again. However you want to do it. Make it bold. However you want to do it, you can. At this point, like a quick tour across the top because you know all this stuff. As you can see, you have your classic word processing tools up here. You have your colors. You have your different looks. Now, when you look at things that say un under format, what it's doing here is this is HTML code. This thing is hiding into HTML code from you. You don't see it. And which is nice. Let me show you what it looks like real fast. So if I come over here to source and click, there you are. So as you can see right now, it's saying that my line up here that says, welcome to EDAP 690 wiki is strong, meaning it is bolded. It's an open style, which means it can look at a font family that the wiki understands. And the font that I'm using is this one right here, Arial. And the font size is 200% plus from standard. I used to have to teach people how to do this, write this in this code. Boy, you talk about taking forever. So here we are. Um, here's your spell check. Uh, here's your horizontal rule if you want to do that. You know, I think I'm going to put a horizontal rule in. I'll drop down and I'll go click. Now I have a nice horizontal rule. Um, 
And then I have a remove formatting. So in other words, if I want to get rid of any formatting that it might have, I could highlight it, click on that, and it'll return it back to its original state. You already saw what source is, link. So link, adding links. Well, adding links allows you to add link from anything on the web to your wiki space, but it also allows you to add links from this page to the other parts of your wiki. And let's move over here so you can see that. So over here, these, this is your table of contents. Okay? This is where everything lives. Now, you'll notice that they give you some sort of, some um, nice templates here that you can use. You don't have to. These, these are just ways that the wiki um, helps you design your wonderful PBWorks wiki. Okay. Images and files, this is what we're going to be using in just a second. This allows us to put pictures. It allows you to put in anything you want, um, including files, by the way. In other words, Word, Documents, Excel, all that. You can just put straight in here. Now, let me go back and talk about this. As you'll notice, because it's actually put stuff in here. And you'll notice if I try clicking on it, nothing happens. Well, it's because to check your wiki, in other words, to see how it's working, to make sure all the links are fine and all the pictures are fine, all the code that you're going to put in is fine, you click Save. And now you see the wiki the way people on the web would see your wiki. So if I go to blank page, it takes me to something called a blank page. It's simple as that. If I want to go back, I come over here to my table of contents, remember? this navigator bar right here, and now it's taking me back. I can go to something called a syllabus, and as you can see, it puts it all in here for you so that you can create it. I'll go back to the front page. I don't want all that, so I'm going to edit and just as easily highlight it and delete it out. Simple, simple. Let's go across further, across here. So here's your classic bullet. Here's your classic numbered list. Here's your classic indent. Here's your classic alignments. Uh, this is an undo feature, in case you screw some up. Um, and here's your copy, and here's your paste. Yeah. You know, everything that you already use, but you probably use either keyboard command shortcuts or you use the file edit, etc. across the top. Now let's go over here, because this is where it gets kind of interesting. Um, can I skip table and I'll come back to it and let's look at insert. Look at all the things that you can put into this wiki space. We'll come back to table in just a minute. There's that horizontal line I already put in there. There's a table of contents that you can put in. Video. So as you can see, if I find a video on YouTube and it will let me search for it, it will put it in here. Full blown, no links, no nothing. Below that is the workhorse. This is where you're going to take your embeddable codes from all these things that are going to be creating. You will then paste them into here, and then you'll put this little check right here. It says allow JavaScript and un potentially unsafe code. You'll then click next. It will drop it in, and it works. You come down here to more plugins, and there's some really interesting things down here. You can use an equation creation. Here's your HTML um, in case you want to create a uh, RSS feed. This is where you would put it. What's an RSS feed, you ask? An RSS feed is how podcasts work. It's how when you subscribe and ring the little bell in YouTube, it's how it works. It's called RSS. And so what you could do is you could set your thing up so that it has the ability that whenever you put something new in your wiki, it will send out to the people who have subscribed to your wiki, it'll send a notification. Kind of cool. Um, this is uploading a raw video. In other words, something you've, you've taken on your phone or a video, video camera, you can upload it straight in. Um, here's the page information if you want to. You can also turn on Google Translation. Um, and here's where you can put in a Skype if you want to do that. I don't know why you would do that uh, because, you know, if I were creating something like that in my wiki, I would just use Google Hangouts. 
because Google Hangouts is HTML5. And so it and the wiki are basically talking in the same languages. And then there's the Vokey speaking avatar. So you have to go in here, create the Vokey, and you put the code in. I, you know, I quit using it because it was turning into such a nightmare because of the code. But you know what? Hey, we've got the time. We'll go visit it tonight to give you a sense. So here I am. I've created my first page. How do I create another page? First of all, I'm going to go back into uh, saving this. Excuse me. So I'm going to save my page. It even warned you. Here we go. And what I will do is if I want to create a new page, it's right there. So what we're doing is as we work our way through the modules, every time we do a new module and a new thing, whatever it is, including the voice thread, we come here and we create a new page and we will give it a title. So for this one, next one we'll be creating, we'll get around, come back to this, we'll be playing around inside of Mayor stuff, and we'll eventually create that Mayor voice thread about his principles, and then we'll name the page Mayor voice thread, and then we'll use the ability to put in insert of those um, wonderful anything, and that way we can go there uh, and see without having to see it from inside of the inside of the blackboard which is really cool and one of the things that's really interesting about we about uh, voice threads is that the original voice thread can reside like in our case inside a blackboard but yet it can be extended out to be put into other things if you go back to the original voice thread, make changes, it feeds out to wherever you put it. Let me get rid of those links. I forgot to save it, and that's why they came back. All righty. Now let's go back and play. So I'm going to go back to the content. I'm going to go back to where we were. I'm going to go into the modules that Stevie's got set up here. And I'm going to go to module one. And I'm going to go to Wiki for Multimedia. And here's where are all the directions you'll ever need to help you understand if you run into a problem using the PB Works. Otherwise, just drop me a text. I can hold your hand and we can get it done together. Um, the module that we're working in actually gives us the next step. So let's go look at that. So we can use either this sign generator a make beliefs comics generator um, or a peanut zine peanut peanut a zine peanut a zine so let me walk through all three of them show you how they work and then we'll show you how to put them over there uh, so i'm going to go here to where the sign generator is once again blackboard doesn't know how to open it directly so i have all of these great <laughs> great wonderful signs that i can use to become a part of the decoration, if you will, of my wiki space that I'm creating here. Now, you know, use some common sense here, folks. Well, you know, if it, it's just us. So if you want to use the absolute, fine. But please don't use that if you're using it uh, in your school. You've got some cartoon characters here. You've got some pictures. Uh, and the thing that makes all of these is the fact that they have space for us to put something. I'm just letting you see them all. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to grab my sign. And you can see, I'm going to name it Steve's Wiki. Okay. And I'm going to celebrify it. And here it is. Now, what I can do at this point is I can right click, save the image as. Make sure we got that. So I create it, 
it opens up in a separate window. I can either do a right click, save image as if I had my file uh, menu up here, I could go to file and save image as, but I'll just use it this way because the right click is your best friend. So now I'm going to save the image as. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to give it the name that I actually wrote in there. You can give it any name you want. And I'm going to put it into my downloads folder. And I'm going to save it. Doom. Easy as that. Now I'll go back into my PB Works site. I'm going to come over here to where, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to turn on the edit. Always turn on your edit to work. I'm going to go to images and files, and I'm going to upload the file. And I'm going to go to downloads because that's where it went. And here it is. And I'm going to click on that and I'm going to open it. It then puts it into my file folder, file collection, call it what you will. And all I got to do now is just click and it pops it right in to my wiki. Now, let's talk about what just happened. I did it deliberately, by the way. The problem with PB Works, and frankly with all wikis, is they are what is called flat HTML. So where you put the cursor is where things are going to land when you do this sort of thing where you put a picture in or if you want to add in a code that allows you to see a video or whatever. Once you do that, you can't move it around because it's code. You know, simple as going up here and flipping the source and there you go. So as you can see, it is stuck there. I can't move this around any which way. It is stuck. I can change the size of it. Okay. So if I want to make it a little bit smaller, I can do that. Now, how do we get around this problem? Well, there's a couple of ways. Let's get rid of the picture. So the first way, and the way that you would probably be all of you are sitting out there going, well, yeah, Steve, kind of duh there. All I have to do is put the insertion point. Yes, that's what it's called. Put the insertion point where I want it to go. If you are working on your wiki page and you want to have the ability to click around on a page anywhere to put an insertion point, to put in files, to put in videos, here's the trick. Just take your enter key, return key, and just go thump, 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 down the side of the page. Okay. And now what you've done is you have alerted, and we can check this, so as you can see now, the page sees that there are insertion points all up and down through here. So if I want to put my picture right there, I can. If I want to put it right there, I can. If I want to put it over here to the right, I can. I want to put it right underneath where it says, Welcome to my EDAP 690 Wiki. I'll go back over here, click, bam, there it is. Simple as that. Make sure you save. There you are. So the front page of your wiki is complete. Now let's go back and look at what the other choices were that we could play with. And the second one that's down here is Make Beliefs Comics. This is, uh, if you're a social studies teacher, you need to know about this site. This is a great way for kids to do demonstrations of understanding of content. Um, it's free. Doesn't cost you a dime. And it's extremely simple to use. Let me show you. Now, right now, it's basically that was in Spanish. So if you want to have your kids create something in Spanish, Wait for them to flip to say, well, uh, make a comic in Spanish, and you'll, you'll, you'll use uh, Spanish. Now, you can also decide if you want to have three boxes. If you want to have two boxes, all you got to do is just come up here and go, I'm going to get rid of some. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this as well. Okay? Or you can do three. Doesn't matter. Down here is where your characters and your talk balloons live. 
So I'm going to go into characters. And depending upon, you know, your connection speed, this can be a little slow. So just be patient. So now I can slide across and I can find who I want to be the character that I would have. I'm going to grab the guy in the Hawaiian shirt with the iPad because it's just too hilarious. So I'll go ahead and I'll put him in. There he is. I'm going to slide him over a little bit. Okay. Because I'm going to have a bubble up here. I want to go back. And I'm going to go back again because what I want now are my talk balloons. So I'm going to open that up. And there is one right there. And I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to scale it a little bit so I can click on it. And then I can go whoop, and I can change how big it is. Notice that the writing also gets smaller too. So don't forget that. Okay. Now I can go back up here and I can click, whoops, click in here to get me back. Now I can go back up here and now it's waiting for me to type in what I want to say. So I'm going to say, welcome to my amazing wiki. Okay, dope. That's simple. That's all there is to it. Now, to get it out of here, what I want to do, and you don't have to do any of this making accounts and all that kind of stuff. Don't worry about it. Just come up here to where it says print email. Click on that. Don't even worry about saving it to online. Don't worry about any of that. All you're going to do is come down here to where it says save. And then it says save image to disk. Click on it. I'll leave it at Make Police Comics. I'll go ahead and put it in my downloads folder here on my computer. And I'm going to save. There you go. Come back to my PB Works. This time, I'll go into my edit. Let's get rid of the star. Make sure where I want it to land. Then I'm going to go to images and files. I'm going to upload the file. And now I'm going to go find my Make Beliefs Comics. I'm going to open it. And I'm going to throw it in. Oh, well, I had it as two instead of one. Oh, well. No harm, no foul. I can go back and re-edit it and get rid of it. Um, you know what? I might just do that. Actually, I do have one. Huh. Kind of interesting. Let's see. Can I just save it again? Print email. It's one right there. Save image to disk. And it's not letting me change it up, so I'm not going to fight with it. There you go. So there's that one. The last one, in all honesty, is a um, <laughs> is a fun one. And I don't know how appropriate it might be for um, high school kids because it's, it's little kid stuff, not because it's inappropriate language or anything. But let me show you what it looks like. So this last one down here is peanut, peanutize yourself. I'm going to click on that again. I have to do the link again. And so here we are. So what you can do is you can create your own character. So the idea here would be is you're going to create a character that may look like you, may just be a character that you really, really like. And it plays music in the background. And you can do a small one, you can do a medium one, you can do a large one, however you want to do it. And 
then you can change up everything about him. Make his fur different, however you want to do it. And then you go to next, and there's his ears. You can change the color of his ears, whether he has spots, all that kind of thing. You can change his expression of his eyes. I know he wants to be surprised. I like that. I'm going to keep that one. Okay. Oh, did you notice, by the way, that you can flip through things to get things changed up? Oh, oh, go back to that hat. Definitely. Okay. And what kind of collar do I want him to wear? Hmm. Well, that's kind of interesting. Huh? Okay. And then there's a leather one. And I have no idea what that one was. I'm going to go with that one. Bam. Okay. Uh, do I want him to have something? In other words, do I want him to have an object next to him? Well, I think it's Snoopy. So in honor of Snoopy, let's do the bowl. And here we are. Okay. Guess what you're going to do? You can do it as a profile picture or you can do it as a um, wallpaper. I'm going to do profile picture. Thank you very much. And so here we are again. I'm going to do, why am I doing a profile picture? Because it's smaller. Wallpaper will blow up all over your wiki space. So I just go ahead and I'll call this one Snoopy. And I'll save it. I'm going to turn that off because you probably, or you may, maybe you can hear it, but it's playing the music in the background. So I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to get rid of that picture that I put in. I'm going to come back over to here. I'm going to upload the file. There it is. I'm going to open it and I'm going to add it in. Now, as you can see, he just blew up. <laughs> So what I might want to do would be to grab it and drag it up and make it smaller. Or if it's too little, reverse. I can drag it and make it bigger. Okay. Simple as that. Um, let me go ahead and use these three files I have over here to show you how a table works. And then we'll call it quits. You're not going to really do anything with tables for the class, uh, except you're going to actually copy a table into your wikis that will be where you do your final. So let me just give you a sense. So tables work like this. You come up here, you click on table, and it says insert a table. So you can come over here and you can say, I want a table that's a one by one, a table that's a one by two, and a table that's a two by two. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go table two by two, and then you get these boxes. So what can we put in these boxes? Well, we look for the cursor, the insertion point, and then we come over here and we pick one of our pictures. And there he is. Now, what do we notice right away? It's huge. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start making it smaller so they look like they can belong together. Now, the others that I have in here, I might have to make them bigger. I don't know yet. So I'll come over here and I will move it around a little bit. Let's just do it one more time. You get the idea. Come down to the one below it. That's where I'll put in my Steve Wiki. And I'll put that in the second one. Now, over here is where the other two are living. So I'm going to go ahead and click in that. And this is where I can put in my Make Beliefs comics. So now I have a table that is holding three different things. And I actually still have room for one more down here. Right? So I have the room now that I don't have to have everything just stacked on top of each other. I have this nice collection, if you will, on the wiki page. Let's review. You're going to create a wiki using something called PB Works. I walked you through how to do it. On your front page, your home page, you're going to give it a title and you're then going to put in um, either a peanut size, uh, belief comics, or a make your own sign, or 
or if you want to use just any picture that you would like to use, in other words, the front of your school, maybe the bulletin board in your classroom that announces this is your classroom, whatever you want to do. If you want to put in a picture of yourself, you go right ahead. Now you know how to do that. You just come over here to upload files. You go find the file and you then open it. It puts it in over here. I have no idea what that was. I just grabbed and then it puts it in. This was actually an application. That's kind of interesting. If it's something you don't like, just highlight it, get rid of it. Simple as that. Uh, I might want to move my table up a little bit. So I'll put the insertion point right above the table and use my backspace key and it drags everything up. Make sure that it is your work or if you use something from off the web make sure that you're allowed to do that save and that's what it looks like kind of cool huh under table properties you can go in and you can play around with the properties of your table so that if you want the table to uh, do things in other words if i go in here and highlight my table and I come up here and play with this, I can change the way it looks. So if I want it to be a background color, in other words, if I wanted the table to actually have a background, um, and if I wanted to have a border, I can add all this kind of stuff in. Oh, I have to change, I have to have a border color. Sorry about that. So I'll come down here and I'll pick that one and I'll save the changes. And now what I have is uh, I can change up the, the border, its size, its color, etc. Oh, the other one I forgot was you can change how it sits on your page. So if you want it to be uh, a certain place on the page and centered, right now we're set to left. I can do center. I can do that. Simple as that. Okay. So you're creating this. You're going to put in something that is your logo or your picture that is going to immediately let everybody know that this is your cool stuff that you have created. Um, and this is where we'll be doing our cool stuff. So when we get around to mayor, what we'll be wanting to do is we'll be going up here and we will be creating a new page. And that's all there is to it. You give the page right here. Yes, you may leave change save isn't that nice how it remembers because stupid people like me will accidentally do that so i'll come over here to new and i'll create a page there's the name mayor voice thread um page content most of the time will be blank you don't need to put it in a folder because this is just all going to line up like a book and then you create the page and it will drop you onto that page waiting for you to put stuff and there we go. That's module number one. Well, what do we do now that we've got this done, Steve, for assignments? So if I go back to my wiki page, and if I go over here, this URL up here at the top is the way that I get to come and see your work. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to copy it. I'm now going to go back into here. Um, and I'm going to go into Assignments, Multimedia Wiki Creation, click on it. And down here, where I can write a submission, I'm going to now just, bang, copy it in. And you'll notice right away, what does it do? It comes in underlined, and it's all set. It's a link. So if I then submit that, and then when I come in to look at it, um, I have to actually go over to you know the Grade Central to see it. When I come in to look at it, I click on it, and I can see your work. That's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and do that for the first one, just so we can all um, just say, oh, okay, I see how to do assignments, Steve. Got it. And that's how your assignments work from here on out. We'll create something in a different application or web tool. We will then 
get to either the link or the code, uh, the embeddable code. We will then put that on a page, separate page in our wiki, and then we'll copy that URL of that separate page in the wiki, and that's what you put in to the assignments. It's that simple. Uh, I had someone ask me about, do we have to be there every time there is class? In other words, asynchronous, asynchronously, meaning you're here at the same time I'm sitting here talking to this microphone. No. Do we have to do this every week? In other words, so today everything has to be done today. No. This is your work. All I'm doing is I'm making sure you understand what we're about here um, and giving you some guidelines, some uh, helpful hints, and also allowing you to crawl inside my head to see what, in this brain, what I think we should be doing when we try to understand Mayer. And also, I actually do, actually do a little bit of lecture about what Mayer is about and his uh, principles. And that'll be next week. Next week will be a heavy hitter because Mayer is a heavy hitter. Um, as I've said to you in the first uh, time we met, that this is the lift. In other words, the voice thread creation of Mayer's principles is a lift. It's it's work. You're going to have to think. You're going to have to paraphrase. You're going to have to look at what you've done. Um, so take your time um, when we get to it and realize what you're doing there is, is you're peeling back the onion of what multimedia learning is all about. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, um, if I just did something, you're sitting there scratching your head going, what did you just do? 502-457-2937. If we need to meet outside of class, uh, we can do that through the Collaborate Ultra, just like we're sitting here doing right now. And I can turn the screen over to you and show you how, as a moderator, you can show me your screen, show me your wiki, or show me whatever it is that you have a question about, and we can work it out together. Uh, this will all be uploaded tonight. It'll be available to you tomorrow. And I will see you next uh, Wednesday night.